Hey guys, it's Nod from Craftwork. Uh, today I wanted to record a very short video on how to make emissive lights in Second Life. Um, I have used this feature in a few releases and I taught some friends of mine and then we were trying, they were, they were saying, oh, it's not working, it's not working and tried to help and I couldn't realize um, what was going on and we tried for a couple of weeks and we finally figured out why it wasn't working. And But meanwhile, I was trying to find Emissive Lights tutorials for Second Life. And although you can find uh, pieces of information here and there, there is not a complete tutorial on how to make it from zero to end. So creating the image and applying to Second Life. So I decided, okay, it is time to have a complete tutorial. So I'm going to try to show you how to do it. Um, I have a series of layers here on my layer stack. And what I want to show you is the step-by-step -step of everything. So I am using this image as a reference because it has these glowing windows. And as you can see here, I'm calling it background example JP, JPG. So it is simply an image, nothing secret here. Okay. Um, and then I said, okay, it would be nice if we could make these windows glow in Second Life, but only the windows and not the rest. And that's what emissive light is about. You are able to make areas of your texture to glow, but protect other areas and make them stay as they are, no glow. So the first thing that I did here, I created some rectangle shapes. So if I turn off the background, you can see. I'm going, I'm not going to make all the windows, so I'm just going to make these windows. And these are really only rectangles that are rasterized. So they are little images now. After I created my rectangles, I merged them into one layer. So I'm going to hide the rectangles and show them here. So they are all one layer. Okay, but my windows are yellow and not white. So what I did is I added a color fill, um, like double clicking and color overlay and I clicked yellow. Okay, so my result was a rectangle merged but yellow. Um, and then I turn, I'm going to turn off and I apply it a little bit of blur because the light is always like expanding to the sides. So a little bit of blur. When I end up with these rectangle, these re rectangles, yellow blur already, I need to add a full black background. So that's what I did. I created a fill right, right here, solid color, full black. My fill is here. And then I copied, I made a copy of my uh, yellow rectangles and I merged with my background, black background. Okay, so at the end, the most important things on my layer stack are my full black background with all the lights that I want to glow and my RGB background. These are the two things that we have to have, okay? So, I'm gonna click quickly, just copy all these layers to another file. So here I'm going to duplicate these layers to the other file. And here they are. So now I'm going to also turn off everything that I won't need now 
and leave only my light and my RGB background active. So what we have to do now, the next step is we need to create the alpha channel so we are able to save a Targa 32 and highlighting only the lights to importing second light. So come to channels and you can see here, but there is a drop down menu on the right side and we are going to create a new channel. And the setting that I use is selected areas, black background, 100% opacity. So I'm going to click OK to create the alpha channel. And here is what you see. You see just like this white um, alpha, it's empty. So we are going to bring this white information to this alpha channel. When I come back to my layer stack, then now my, my lights, they're red. And what I do is, and I don't know why, but this is how it works. If you have another way to make it, you, you can also leave in comment. Oh, I make it another way. We'll be really glad to have other ideas about this, but this is how I do. I click on my RGB and I click back on my lights. And then I'm going to Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy, and I'm going to use Ctrl Shift T V and place and paste on my alpha channel. So there. Okay. And it's coming this way, no colors, and that is fine. Now you're gonna go back to your layer stack, so click your layer and turn off your alpha and click your background just that and save yes and you're gonna save as emissive targa 32 okay and i am going to need my background as well right which i already have in second life so let's take a look so this um I already have an emissive here, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to uh, upload a new one, which is called live. And when you upload, you can see it is like a full transparent 32 bits uh, Targa and your little lights over there. So, okay. So these are three cubes. And these faces only received the RGB texture. Okay, so they are simple textures applied, no glow, no anything. And how the glow works is, so for example, oh, I want my windows to glow. But if you have only your texture and you apply glow, let's say 0.5, everything is going to highlight, right? But you want, you want only your windows. So this is what emissive light does. You're gonna click your object, and you have already applied your background and you just drop your emissive on top of it. And if you click here, you may see everything transparent. Okay, that happens. The only thing that you have to do is click on the face again and turn because sometimes when you apply emissive mask it doesn't come the alpha mode is still in blending mode so you see transparent so just click and change your alpha mode to emissive mask and then change the glow to whatever you want so you see now we are only highlighting those windows that are those rectangles that we created in Photoshop. So let me make a new cube here and just show you. So if I was making from the very start, so select face and I drag my background, which is my RGB and then I drag my emissive and then it becomes transparent okay so just click the face alpha blending change to emissive mask and then set up the amount of glow that you want so this is it I think this is working I have other ways different ways of make emiss making emissive masks leave in the comments we would love to learn your secrets too but I hope that 
now we can see something from the very beginning until the very end. If you work with Substance Painter, you can already export emissive uh, maps from there. So it works the same way. You're going to create your black background, merge with your emissive masks. Um, I don't remember now. I think that depending on how you export your textures in Substance Painter, if you're exporting PNG and no dilatation, they come exactly uh, like this, something like this, maybe. And so just add a black background, use our RGB on the behind here, like this, on the bottom of your layer stack. Do the same process and bring it to second life. Any doubts, you can send me a message. And I'm not no gemstone in your world and I'm here to help. Thank you.